Got 55, 56 degrees over here. Over there is 54. Two degrees. I mean, it can make all the difference in the world. Two degrees. What you notice up on these logs right here is there's a bunch of turtles, and they're, they're painted turtles. And it seems like in the spring of the year, when the water gets about 50 degrees, they start coming out of hibernation a little bit. What happens is when you start seeing those turtles come out like they are in the numbers that they are on that log, bass will follow them. And for some unknown reason, there's just something there that makes it so that a turtle pattern is kind of what it's about. You're, you're really seeing the turtle activity first, and then the bass start moving shallow. And I use it as an ind indicator a lot of times when you come along a bank or whatever, you start seeing those guys early in the year, you know you're gonna start getting shallow water fish. Uh-oh, here we go. Ain't very big, but he's right off the edge of that, right off the edge of that bank. Not a very big one, but gives you an indication. A little buck bass. You look at that little bass, how pretty he is. He just came out of deep water. You can kind of tell because he's really light. And he hasn't got his tail messed up or anything. There's a little parasite on it, but he's still pretty white. And a lot of times that's a good indication they're just starting to move up. First fish that typically move up are going to be a fish just like him. They're going to be a, a nice, small little buck bass looking for some bedding opportunity. Sometimes when you're, you're fishing, it's the things that happen above the water as much as it is below the water. We're fishing a little shallow flat here, and you know, you'll notice turtles like we talk about turtles. You'll see them start coming up. You'll start seeing birds. Maybe there'll be some blue herons along a bank. Typically what that means is there's shad in the water or bait fish or bluegill or whatever it may be. So sometimes you gotta be observant to what's above the water as well as you do what's below the water, when, especially early in the springtime. We've got 54 degree water temperature today. And yesterday we came in and kind of fished this area a little bit and it was 50. So you try to find yourself a kind of a, an area where there isn't as much wind and where the sun hits it a majority of the day. I do anyway, and I look for pockets. Like this pocket we're in right here, it'll warm quicker, it's south facing and it'll warm quicker. And what'll happen is, is this water, these are where the first fish will move in, will be in these pockets. And they'll come in and they'll look for a place to spawn or they'll look for something to eat. And that's the first thing they do. Protected pockets, south facing banks, and some place where the creek channel is fairly near this pocket is really good, good rule of thumb to be able to start on your, on your look for your uh, springtime fish. Get one. It feels like a good fish. He's fighting good. Ugh. Look at that fish. Bulldogging. That's, a, that's the kind you're looking for right there. Springtime bass on the bank. Just like that. That's what we're hunting for. Looking at this bank, you're hunting for fish that look just like that. Any of beauty? Another thing, I always say wood is good. And the reason I say that is because those areas where you've got a tree laying in the water, a big stump, some of those kind of locations, the water around that stump will heat up because of the heat of the sun is heating up that dark object. And a lot of times you can just go around and kind of pick around on a stump and you'll pick up a couple of big fish. And I always say wood is good. You're not gonna beat it in the springtime. When you look at this bank, you can see there's a shade line out in front of me. Typically what you're looking for is as much sun as you can possibly get. Now as the day, we're getting close to a little bit middle of the day, what'll happen is, is that shade line will dissipate. Then you'll start seeing the turtles come out, you'll start seeing those kind of things happen, and then you'll be able to fish right up on the bank with success. Right now you've got about a 15 or 20 foot area that's still shaded, it'll be a little bit cooler water. But as the day progresses, the sun's in the south, south part of the sky, that's south, so you're gonna be able to see that thing will heat this water up and these fish will start moving in. A key ingredient to a pocket like this is having deep water close. If you got a creek channel that runs by, an old creek channel, uh, uh, some kind of a ditch, a uh, drain, something like that, that runs by a pocket like that, that's a funnel. And a funnel will bring those fish right straight into a pocket like this because this is prime spawning habitat here you got in front of you. You want as much sun as you can on it and always hit the wood and hit dark spots of grass. Anything you come up on in the springtime that's what you want to look for. In the springtime, I think it's really good to keep moving. And what you want to do is you're going to change it, throw a spinner bait, you might throw a chatter bait, you might throw a jig, but don't stay in one place a long time in the springtime. There can be such a variance. You can have a 10 yard stretch in 60 degree water and have 52 on either side of it. When you find those places that are a little bit warmer, you might spend a little bit more time doing it, 
But in, in reality, what you're looking to do is cover as much water as you can in the springtime.